See, earlier on, I tested it on the road, and I thought it was pretty good, actually. It's more than that, it's a fantastic car. Well, it's not as good as an XC90, it's a family no, car. it's a lot better than an XC90. We can't agree on that, no. OK? We don't agree on that, we're going to move on, because now it is going to face the toughest test I've ever dreamed up. I'm going to try and drive the Discovery to the top of this 1,007-foot mountain near Cape Roth at the top of Scotland. No car has ever been up here before. Obviously, I have made one or two modifications for this genuinely difficult journey. I'm wearing Wellingtons, and so is the car, actually. Uh, I fitted these kind of very chunky off-road tyres, and I've equipped it with a winch. Right. Bloody hell. On the way up, I hope to learn how the Land Rover works in some of the most hostile terrain on the British Isles. And also, we shall learn some new bushcraft, Clarkson style. Ray Mears keeps telling us that uh, we have much to learn from ancient tribes from around the world, but you know what? I think they have more to learn from us. I mean, sure, an Eskimo hunter-gatherer could get up this part of the mountain in a pair of shoes made from moose hooves, but it's much easier in the new disco. You see, instead of levers, which he used to pull in the old Discovery to make big bits of metal underneath fuse together. This has just got a series of buttons. You tell the onboard computer, which was designed by four blokes in Banbury, what kind of surface you're on, and uh, it, it sets the car up properly. So I've told it now I'm on sort of wet, grassy, peaty rubbish, and it is pulling me forwards. So now I've got kind of rocks, so what I'm going to do is put it onto rock crawl, which is that one, and then the onboard display here tells me that we've now got a lot centre differential, the ride height's gone up, it's, in, it's engaged low range for me. So, here we go. It's pulling me over all right. This is very, very clever. I'm not entirely surprised that no car's been up here before, I must be honest. I want a peat bog setting. <laughs> it's, it's very wet and sticky. couple of issues at this point. First of all, have you ever seen a view as spectacular as that one? Apart from that one, obviously, over here, look. That one, there. Or that one, maybe, with the sea in it. But more important, have you ever seen a slope as vicious as that? There's the summit, look. How the hell am I going to get up there? I'm up a very steep bit of hill here. Now, this is something I wasn't expecting. I appear to have arrived at an enormous valley. I just thought it... Oh, damn, blast! This is so depressing, going back downhill again. Now you see, I'm as stuck as I don't know what now.
Of course, being a well-prepared, modern, 21st century sort of guy, I had this winch fitted. All we have to do, pull this cable out and attach it to a tree. Oh, bugger. So, what Shackleton would do at this time is row halfway across the South Atlantic to get help. What I prefer to do is use one of these. Hi, yeah. Help. <laughs> 